Welcome to episode six. Practice is practice. We have good practices, we have bad practices, but generally our team is doing a fantastic job at moving in the right direction, preparing for showcase on December 12th. It's been a few months since Wes Haley has been here to do choreography. Uh, we've had a couple of changes in our roster. We've lost a couple of athletes. We've also gained a couple of athletes. So needless to say, there's been a couple of changes in the choreography. So basically what we're doing now, friends, is um, adding Jossie in. So it's just a matter of maneuvering some people around and it shouldn't take us long. So just stay focused. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a little overwhelming, but since I was here at choreography, like I know most of the motions. So like I'm able to be put in like anywhere where I can like kind of coordinate to what they were doing already. I'm getting like the hang of it more now. I injured my rotator cuff last season in February and then I started stunting again and I re-injured it. And I've been out for a while and going to physical therapy and hopefully I can come back in like a week. So until then, what are you doing during practices? Uh, standing pools and jumps and motions. So like nothing. Yeah. Liam? It's going great. Having a good time. <laughs> what's, your, what's your position? I'm a flyer. I feel like it's going really good. I feel like everyone's like killing it. The hardest part for me is the stunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was... Um, the hardest part of the routine for me probably has to be the standing tumbling portion with my two to full, standing full, two to double. My standing full hasn't been good recently, but I'm working on it. All right, it's not bad, but your whip's a little bit high. So you need to turn over more when you come out of your round off. So we're coming through that round off, you need to get a bigger pop off the floor and really sweep your feet through like you're doing a back handspring. So the whip can be lower so that way the pull goes up more and you're not over and your butt. I saw you land one there. Good job. And do one more time. And everybody's a family here. Like everybody's nice to everybody. And everybody's always talking and hanging out. <laughs> and it's just a family environment. And they're really supportive. All right. Hi. Kayla. Yes. <laughs> What's with all the costumes? It's Halloween practice. It's my favorite practice. <laughs> what are you guys? Isn't it obvious? It's for the We're camera. the Powder Puff Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Post choreography, one of the elements we still needed for our routine was the pyramid. Fortunately enough, we were able to get Chris Cox from Next Level Choreography to come choreograph our pyramid. Put her out, she'll walk, they walk, no, no, just lead up. She'll walk. she'll walk right into the groove, apparently. Okay, you guys walk over here, which gives us a moment to just be like, I don't know, actually. Uh, Chris did an amazing job choreographing our pyramid. He definitely knew what he was doing, he knew the rules, he knew the score sheet, and he definitely had a creative brain that was able to come up with something fantastic for our routine. We got a pyramid now. So now we're no moving, fun at all. but we got a lot to do, so back to the grind again. This year we were fortunate enough to be able to hold our first ever gym bonding event at the Farm 1840. It was awesome to get to see all of our athletes in normal clothes, getting to hang out with all the athletes from the rest of the program and bond with kids that they might not get to hang out with on a normal basis. This is your 2021 world's team of this gym. Give them a round of applause. I coach this team alongside Katie, Liam, Paul, and Kayla. They've been working super hard. Um, it's been a privilege to coach them this season. They've exceeded my expectations, and they continue to push as hard as they possibly can. It's been a rough year up to this point for this team, uh, losing a member and having to recover from that, it's been very difficult. 
but they've stepped up to the plate and we've made the changes that we need to make to move forward. Um, and we're very, very excited um, to take the floor. We appreciate all of you for what you um, have done for the season, for us, um, to get these kids here and to devote you know, as much time as you do. And we can't be blessed enough to have each and every one of you along with all these kids in our program. So thank you very much. With the past couple of months being particularly difficult for our program, the gym bonding event was a perfect way for our athletes to come together and take one step further in the future of our gym. What's up? Hey, are you, are you for real going to help um, guest coach on Thursday at practice? I can, yeah. All right, because I'm, I'm, I'm uh, being interviewed right now for the show, and I want to... I want Ty to videotape if you're there, so I want to make sure I say something about you. Practice starts at 6.30. Oh, okay, perfect. Eh, gas. All right, cool. We had Shay Myers come do a cleanup camp with our World's Kids. Uh, Shay is from Gym Time, Illinois. He works at the program owned by Wes Haley, our choreographer. Shay's routines are well known across the nation for being some of the cleanest and tightest cheerleading routines that are put on the floor every season. And we're really excited for one of our best friends to be able to come work with our kids. So this is five, Shay six, Myers, seven, and he's down. Three, Liam and four, DJ's five, friend. Three, he came four, in and five, is just kind of cleaning up seven, our stunts, doing, one, doing some routine cleanup, just there, having Bella, fun with them. You know, it's always good to have like a fresh set of eyes or a guest coach or something come in. Um, it's always a good time coming here, seeing DJ, Liam, and also the whole program. I used to help coach a couple of these kids and then going away to a different state and coaching there and then coming back. The kids are wonderful, they're very coachable. They adapt and listen to corrections. I mean, I just love seeing that DJ and Liam are focusing on their dream and trying to do like the training program, turning into all-star and then also keeping the tumbling and they're doing what they love to do. So I'm just here to help support them. The routine that Wes Haley gave us is tough. And we felt that it was necessary to make a couple of changes for what we're calling our showcase routine. The routine that we're performing at Showcase is going to be much more watered down than the routine that we are going to be competing later in the season. Uh, because we want to make sure that our athletes are going to get on the floor and feel confident in performing what they're doing and not have any doubt in their mind that they're going to land on their feet in their tumbling or they're going to hit their stunt.